Hey, Epic Team Managers. Just wanted to reach out to you guys. It's Monday, and as my commitment to you, I'm going to try to do these videos every single Monday. And I uh, wanted to kind of touch base with you guys and um, reach out about some ideas that I had. So, first things first, I've been thinking in the last, um, basically, 24 hours, more and more about balance. And I, I guess I kind of want to convey a certain personal feeling that I have about... Um, this business and everything else that you do in your in your daily grind of of life, and I just want you to know that no matter what, I want you to be able to do this business while still maintaining everything else that you want to do in your goals in your personal life. So, I don't know. This is just a, a sidebar. I um, I run. I'm a. You, you wouldn't know that much about me, but I get really excited, and I'm a runner. And it's kind of actually funny for me to even call myself a runner. Because what happens is I get really excited about running and I, I get shoes and I get <laughs> gear, right? Like I, I'm the kind of workout girl who just buys a lot of stuff that's cool looking and try to look like I work out. But I do. So anyway, so I go out and I buy new shoes and then I buy yoga pants and whatever. So anyways, I get on the treadmill <clears throat> and I'm not really good at moderation. I, for those of you who um, know me, they'll know that this is kind of funny. But um, I would prefer to try to run at my very first time out uh, more than a mile, probably. Um, in fact, like, and then I get really excited because I'm usually able to accomplish it because my brain can push my body pretty far. Then I find out that um, I have some serious health issues. So about two to three days into my running, after I've now exhausted my body, continually pounding on my joints and my uh, knees and my ankles and my and my shins, I find that I have some pretty hellacious stress fractures plus shin splint pain in my in my shins. So what happens? I get really frustrated and I eventually give up because the pain actually is so unbearable that I can not even walk across a room without at least level eight pain with my shins. So. Um, here I am. I'm running again. I've been running now for, I don't know, 20 days or something like that. It wasn't like a New Year's thing. It's just a, it's a, it's time. Like I get excited about it and I do this just about every year. So, um, I'm now today nursing a, a sore knee and this one shin is, is out and I'm going to be going to the chiropractor. Now this is a very long story about my workout regime and my ups and downs of running. And some would just say, stop running. It's, the only thing is that I like running. I enjoy it. I think that the mental challenge that's involved, I like that it's a one-on-one -on -one thing that, not a one-on-one -on -one thing. It's just a, it's a, it's a me thing. And like, I, I also like spin class. I actually like it. Um, cause it's a mental thing. Like I like mental challenge. My point is that I don't want your January balance to be that off where January is exciting. And you get on the treadmill and you decide I'm going to run. I'm going to book all these events and I'm going to talk to everybody on my team and I'm going to like get really, really motivated and I'm going to do all this stuff and I'm going to sell all these things. And that's really good, right? Because that's how we feel in January. We feel like, oh my gosh, we took three weeks off in December and we're so ready to be back on. The problem is that the second that you kind of hit with like some physical challenges with either your team's not responding the way that you want them to, or um, you're not able to keep up with the pace that you set, I have found that more people are kind of just then just crashing. So I guess my, my point here to all this four minute rant is that I know that you guys want the best and I know that you're doing really well and I'm really super proud of you, but I want you to consider the word balance when you're scheduling all of your stuff. I would never want you to, um, out schedule your events so that you're missing your kids stuff. I never want you to do that. I don't do that. Like I, I won't over schedule myself so that I can't do the things that I still want to do and need to accomplish in my family. So that's kind of my, um, my my shameless balance talk balance is a word I I definitely am challenged by I constantly think about balance and um, every year it's like I th I try to think of a new word for for the next year it's like one of the New Year's things that some people do is like pick a new word uh, mine is always balance I I ought to put balance as a tattoo on my forehead so that when I look in the mirror I see it because I I'm constantly striving after it so um just kind of want to leave that with you. If you're working on the time management system, and I know that I've talked to uh, five people one-on-one -on -one so far, and I'm really looking forward to talking to the rest of you too, 
Um, but it, the time management system, believe it or not, has come up in every single one of the conversations. And it's kind of interesting. It's not like I just like to talk about it. I mean, I do like to talk about it. But um, people are, are giving me cues that are saying, okay, I'm, I'm either really behind on this or I need to be able to balance this with that. And so the time management system I know is of value and I'm finding that those at least who are doing it are finding it useful. So um, I do recommend that you're probably, those of you who are going to be on calls with me soon, and I, I prefer to call them um, connecting calls, not coaching calls, because you guys are doing great. And I wonder if your team would also respond better to the word connecting call. It's kind of a thought too. But anyway, so um, work the time management system. I think that that would help hand in hand with the balance idea. And uh, that's your tidbit for the management stuff. The incentive is still going on, so the January incentive, so I'm excited about that. And uh, you guys are doing great. We're, you know, we're, we're only like almost, we're not even halfway through January, so everything's good. So uh, go seek balance, team, and uh, watch for my number on your caller ID. Talk to you guys later. Bye.